Hi, this is Paul Terro from Delium Advisory with another FMC for Organisations Frameworks, Models and Concepts to help you uh, obtain long-term success, ways to think about the activities of your organisation, whether it be a for-profit or not-for-profit. And in this session here, I just want to talk about value chain analysis. Value chain analysis has been around since the uh, mid-1980s. Uh, Michael Porter, again, with his uh, uh, brain and with his study, was trying to come up with a, come up with a framework for analysing businesses to look at how they actually create value. And he came up with this value chain analysis. And this model, there's a primary and a secondary. There is this primary value chain and there are the, uh, the secondary activities. So if we keep in mind the concept of a, uh, of a manufacturing firm with uh, inputs and operations, those raw materials and onto the production line and then outbound, if you think of a firm in terms of that, then this is ideally suited to that. However, it's also applicable to uh, service organisations as well. So what are the primary activities? The first I, the first one, stands for uh, inbound. All those things associated with inbound, uh, how do the raw materials actually get into the organisation? O stands for operations. How actually are those raw materials converted into what you end up selling. What are the actual operations? O is for outbound. You have your raw materials, they're transformed, and then how do those products then get out to the customers? What are the logistical processes that you actually use? M is marketing and sales. Is this component of your firm, are they actually adding value to this chain? Are they a, do they suck up too much investment? Is there too much operational overhead for the actual value that they actually add to the value chain? And the final is service. Obviously with the service component, you don't want to use them because the, the quality of your goods are, are so good. However, with the service, in this day and age, obviously, the, they should be providing a service which is second to none. So that's the primary uh, aspects of the value chain. What actually takes those uh, raw materials and gets them out into the market and um, you know, the actual value that you're actually creating. That's your primary one. The secondary one is all those activities which go into supporting this happening. And the first of these uh, secondary support uh, operations is the admin. Here you know, we're talking about the office or the factory space. We're talking about procedures, we're talking about uh, IT, we're talking about governance, we're talking about all those necessary administrative or you know, organisational infrastructure uh, activities that go into the support of this primary part of the value chain. The second is HR. You know, here we're talking about selection, re recruitment, we're talking about performance management, uh, and perhaps even uh, outboarding, getting, uh, releasing people from the firm. So it's all those HR. Are the HR functions, are they actually creating value? Are they actually adding value to this primary? T, technology development. You could also call this uh, innovation. Is there some actual investment happening here to actually improve what's happening in this primary 
uh, aspect of the value chain. So it's all it's talking about how you're developing your goods, how you're developing your services, how you're developing and improving each of these aspects. And the final one, P, is procurement. How do you actually purchase what you need? What are all the processes that you have? So there we have it, the value chain analysis. So each of these components of your organisation, it's a way of looking at your organisation to create and how are those individual components going toward creating value and adding value to what you produce. Value chain analysis, been around since the, uh, the mid 80s and it's a quite a good uh, framework for actually looking at your firm. This has been Paul Terro of Delium Advisory with another FMC for Organisations. Thanks for watching.